What's up all you sexy body fighters? It's Dragon King and today I'm gonna do a deck profile on my Max Dragon deck that I used to win the Spring Fest 2019 Team League in Philippines together with my teammates which use Mystic Knights as well as Dimension Dragons and I chose a Star Dragon World uh, Exalted Flag because Star Dragon World is one of my favorite worlds. I will also be uploading a vlog for my Philippines trip, you know, in case you want to know what the Philippine event looks like. So do remember, do remember to check it out. Also, I gotta say the Philippine community is really very nice. Everyone is very, very friendly. You know, reminds me of the time I went there two years ago. So thank you guys for such an awesome trip. Now let's get on with the deck profile. Alright guys, if you're just here for the deck list, here it is. Now, in my opinion, Max Dragons is one of the best decks out there and I really like it. That's why it's the best. <laughs> nah, no, I'm just kidding. So I feel like Max Dragons is a complete package. It has everything from power to defense to spell now uh, to vast uh, a variety of draw power and, and many more defense which makes it a really huge threat in the meta right now because it's the only deck which can put its spell rounds to its fullest potential. Basically, if you're going first, you know, you'll farm out the spell notes into your hand and during your opponent's turn, if he tries to cast anything to gain advantage or anything, you know, just spell now it and crumble his entire strategy. This is definitely one of the top choices for Team League in my opinion. Alright, so for the buddy we play, Domilot Zerbros, this is a top choice because you would definitely need to call him to search for your size 4 and above as well as your overcrest so that little Domilot over here can evolve to become a much stronger monster. And for the flag, I play HEB Bun and Ma flag which I've been holding on ever since I was playing Raging Spirits in the past. And I realized, you know what, actually I really enjoy playing Ancient World. You know, I feel the monsters are usually very overpowered. You know, in exchange for life points and stuff, they gain a lot more power, defense, and it's really, really fun playing Ancient World. You know, comment down below if you love Ancient World as well. It's definitely one of my favorite worlds. First up, we'll play two copies of Lost World. I feel Lost World is very compatible in this deck because of the huge amount of draw power I have as well as gauge control. So it's very easy to go into Lost World and even after going to Lost World, there's a huge uh, draw power which you can use to draw into your Lost World cards. Next up, I play 4 copies of the buddy. Definitely play 4 because you're able to search into your larger max dragon as well as overcrest. So careful not to call him too much during the first turn or you might actually get loyalty and you will be stuck at Domilot Zerboros. Next up, 4 copies of Primitive Power Zerboros. This is the card which literally makes this deck so powerful and scary. Basically, uh, if you have a Zerboros, just drop this card, pay a gauge, pay a life and nullify the spell cast by your opponent you know definitely play four you know some people might think hey you know what three is enough because you can search it out but no okay you want as much many of this in your hand you want to draw into it you want to search it you want basically more max dragons more power i play two copies of tire lot zerbos oak Alright, from here on out, you're able to search for your size 3 spell nows, which is very useful. And I only play 2 copies of him because in case one of them landed in the drop zone, I'll be able to search my deck for one more to use Seamless Dragon Lord and to force evolve into him. And also during the turn that he is called, he gains 15k defense. So what usually happens is, I'll call my size 3 during the first turn, and then at the end of the turn, evolve into him, he gains 25k, my opponent isn't able to beat through his defense, and then Shinka! Two copies of Viglock Zebra Z. Now this is where the fun begins. From size 5 onwards, your max dragon cannot be rested by card effects, it gets penetrate and this card has triple attack. Also, the good thing about max dragons is when this card when they attack, they don't have a an effect that triggers uh, where your opponent can counter to the effect and cast a nullify. So when he attacks, you know, if my opponent casts any defensive spell, I'll just use my spell now and crush him, which makes him so powerful. And on to his final evolution, Shinka! Almighty Overlord Zebros Lost! Now Zebros has reached his final evolution and his powers are at its maximum. In fact, two final evolutions to help you in your different needs. Basically, this final evolution has quadruple attack, uh, penetrate, 
five criticals and he has higher stats. Whereas this evolution has uh, also has quadruple attack, in uh, but four crits and slightly lower uh, stats. However, when this card enters the field, destroy all cards on your opponent field and deal one damage for each card destroyed. You know, very useful against stuff like Dimension Dragons. You know, so uh, if you destroy them, they can't cause stuff to redirect the attack from their hand which is very powerful. Next, we'll play 4 Lord of the Skies. Search for your base form, Zerbros or Overcrest. You can search them for your deck or from your drop zone. Definitely play 4. Next up, 4 copies of Dragon Lord Burst Forth. So drop a max dragon from your hand. If it's a size 3, you draw 2 cards. If it's a size 4 and above, you draw 3 cards. And also, you will be able to gauge 1 and gain 1 life. So this, you want to maximize this card because you want to draw as much as you can in this deck. Four copies of Divine Dragon Creation, pay two life and draw two cards. The reason why we play so many draw power is because you're not afraid to draw into extra pieces of them because when you go into Lost World, you can use them to draw into your Lost World cards as well. Next, two copies of Dragon Emperor Legend, Charge Gauge, gain a life and draw a card. Next, two copies of Sky Dragon Divinity. You can only cast this if you have 10 or less cards in your drop zone. Pay a gauge, pay a life, send back 3 cards and draw 2 cards. So basically it's like pay 1 gauge and draw 2, why not? And also you won't have too many cards in your drop zone because you don't play any cards which mill cards. So this card is perfect for this deck, you know I played 2 copies of him. Next up, 2 copies of Soaring Dragon Fair Skylines. Now this card is amazing with this deck because it helps you dig deep into your deck for your spell nows, your lost world, additional draw powers as well as many other defensive spell and also you discard two cards you can discard your size 4 or your size 5 and above because overcrest allows you to evolve from the drop zone which is why this card is literally a godsend for max dragons however it is very gauge heavy a cost of two gauge which is why we play many gauge adders in this deck as well Next up, 4 copies of Link Dragon Order Links. Now guys, this card is the MVP of the deck in my opinion because mill 2 cards, you either charge 3 gauge, gain a life or destroy a monster on your field. Now this deck is very 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 gauge heavy. This card literally solves all your gauge issues because 3 gauge is a lot. So you'll be able to go into your lost world, cast your spell now, you know, use your draw power or your defensive spells. Literally best card in the deck. Also, the versatility which gives him to destroy a monster helps a lot because Dimension Dragon players, you know, they like to tag in stuff like Disturb Hand Dragon and destroy your whole strategy. Whereas, you know, you just use full counter to them, you know. Link Dragon all the links, destroy Disturb Hand Dragon and, you know, full counter. Next up, 4 copies of Seamless Dragon Lord. So you're able to uh, re-stand a max dragon or call on top of call another max dragon. So you know you're able to rush your opponent down. Like imagine you're at size 5, you know, triple attack uh, with penetrate, then use this card and call over your size 6. So you know this is why we play two copies of each of the max dragons. Also this could be your only card which helps you to save save you against the mirror match because in a mirror match you wanna you need to evolve faster than your opponent. So definitely play 4, it also helps you to draw one card, really amazing. Next up, I play 2 copies of Overcrest. So you know, I only play 2 because you're either able to search it from your deck or you're able to retrieve it from the drop zone. And if it's in your gauge, you're able to pay, pay your gauge and retrieve him from the drop zone as well. So there isn't really a fear of me not getting into him, which is why I only play 2 copies of Overcrest. Next, I play 2 copies of Lord Break Flame Gale and 2 copies of Lord Strikes True Dragon Lord. So these are your defensive spells of the deck. One of them uh, is to rest all your opponent monsters and another one is to destroy all your opponent cards. So they both serve very different purposes. This is generally good against Mystic Knights and this is generally good against Dimension Dragons because you don't want them to have any cards at the end of the turn so you can rush them the next turn. And this is also good against Lost World because they can have a full field of uh, Lost World monsters. You just cast Lord Break Frame Gale and rest all their monsters. Now these are pretty high cost, 2 gauge each. So that's why we play a lot of uh, gauge adders in this deck as well. But these are really amazing counters. You know, it's sort of like a cast this and your 
basically just settles all your opponent attacks kind of card. It's really amazing. Play two of each. Lastly, we play two copies of Recovery Veil. Boy, these are one of the best generics out there, man. Uh, so basically, it, gauge, it helps you to gauge two. And also, the other effect is for this turn, the next damage dealt to you by attacks is reduced to zero. So very amazing card. Uh, also, because this deck is generally one of the bad matchups is God Punks. And Recovery Veil, if your opponent makes you discard a card, you know, you can reveal this card, pay a life, and you don't have to discard a card. So you won't be losing hand size. And it also helps you to charge 2 and go into Lost World as well. Moving on to the sideboard, I play 3 Lock Break Heartwind Summon to help you with the life gain situations, 3 Loyalties to counter certain decks, uh, 1 Lock Break Flame Gale, uh, in case I fight Mystic Knights, you want an additional rest. Uh, one Lord Strike, Steel Dragon Lord, you want to side in the card which helps you better in each situation. And finally, I play 2 Indestructible Dormy Lord. Alright guys, this is my Lost World build. It is built to support Max Dragon a little bit more. And I believe different decks should have different Lost World build to support their main deck. Generally, I don't play too many monsters. I play 4 Vanity because he's the best Lost World monster. I play 3 Irrigate for the additional draw power. I play 2 uh, Crocoach of Death for uh, to counter Buddy Block as well as destroy every single card your opponent has on his field. I play... Uh, Four of the promo restander, you know, it gives you gauge, it helps you rest, and it helps you restand. Good thing is it says restand a monster, so you can restand your max dragons as well. So I maximize the draw power. I play uh, four dimension draw and four deep end vow. So you know, uh, just to maximize my draw power. Also, I play three day of devastation. You know, because if you call more monsters. Uh, you actually lose against all odds and your opponent can actually destroy your max dragon. Also, uh, Irrigate and Crocoach is actually vulnerable to destruction so I play uh, Day of Devastation to protect my board. And also, this weapon is really amazing. It is 3 crits, triple attack and penetrate. It's a, it can attack even if a monster on my center which is my max dragon which is perfect for max dragon. So I play 3 of him and lastly, 3 impact to seal the deal and to finish off my opponent. Alright guys, I've come to the end of the deck profile. Hope you enjoyed and do like and subscribe for more buddy fight content. Also, check out buddy-mart.com. We are having free shipping worldwide for minimum amount spent. And guys, till next time, it's time to buddy fight! <laughs>